Hi, uh, welcome back to Lilac City Recorded. Sorry, a couple weeks off there because uh, Townie here taught me how to play Fortnite, so I've been really heavy in that, but, Pop. you know, a couple weeks, that's no big deal. Pop, it's, it's September. It's September? The month? Yeah! Uh, oh no. I guess it's been a couple months since yeah. we did one of these. Did anything weird or horrible happen in the world during that time, or I think... We're probably okay. It's Try fine. down below. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's play more Fortnite. I don't. Hi, Janice. Hi. How's it going? It's going. All right, like a solid two out of ten. Oh, that's great for the end times. Right? Uh, now, you do many community things that makes uh, Spokane uh, much greater, And uh, but you wanted to talk about something specific today. Uh, please tell us about it. Yeah, so there's a group of organizations that applied for CARES Act funding through the city, and we were awarded $300,000. Uh, oh, tell me what the CARES Act is for those who don't know. The CARES Act is the federal relief package for COVID. So it's how okay. everyone got their stimulus checks, things like that. There's a big chunk of money that was um, given to our city um, from the commissioners to then allocate yeah. out. Um, so we were able to get $300,000 of that. And what we're doing is we are using local companies, local talent, and local organizations to provide an avenue for all Spokane's locally owned small businesses to exist online in one central place with a marketplace so they can all have access to some sort of e-commerce. But it would be like um, like showing up to a farmer's market or something. You know, you're not going to have your whole entire store there, just a showcase of what you offer, services, items, goods, things like that. And then you can also promote your storefront or your other, you know, online shop, um, additional services, things like that. But the goal is to get people to live local. And that's the whole brand. Um, and while we promote that, um, we can start encouraging people to go to this website once it's launched in a couple weeks and mm -hmm. spend their dollars locally. Because we know, yeah. you know, when you spend your dollars at a locally owned store, you know, you are actually funding someone's dream. Amazing. That's really amazing. You know, I try to get out of my bubble uh, and find local places I'm not familiar with. Uh, so this is great. It's like a, it's like a mall. Exactly. I'm calling yeah. it, I, I keep saying it's um, Spokane's virtual main street, but everyone gets premium storefront. You know, yeah. there's no buy-in. It's all, it's, it's free to join. It's free to be a part of it. Um, Live Local doesn't make any profit off of it. It's just a community place to build community. And, yeah. and that's the goal. Right now, we just launched a bunch of um, consulting hours. And you can sign up for those through our Facebook. Um, or you can contact one of the partners. We partner with Simba, IMBA, Ahana, North Monroe Business District, Garland Business District, and Spokane Arts. So all of them have the information on how to like register for these courses if you don't have Facebook. But sure. um, yeah, for the next several weeks, we have one or no two to three two-hour blocks of business consulting per day. You know everything from HR questions to how to pivot your social media during times of crisis to, you know, just talking with an accountant on, you know, financial planning right now and for the future. You know, uh, nobody is an expert in this current situation, so people have to uh, kind of navigate their own ship, you know? Yeah. yeah, it's a lot. And then, you know, the way e-commerce works right now is you can set up your own website, you can do your Google ads, you can get on Yelp, and you can do all of those things, but you're doing them independently. When we form this directory marketplace, it's going to save people on those efforts because the community is going to market for our small businesses. You know, Live Local will be everywhere. And 
you don't have to, you know, rely on an algorithm or, you know, depend on some sort of buy-in that would get you the visibility that you need for your business. You're just locally owned. You're in Spokane. You will be visible on this website. That is just fabulous. It's just a great idea. Uh, did you have any part in creating this? I had a hand in helping the program launch. So I, okay. yeah, I'm the director of communications and PR for the program launch, which is what we're working on now. Um, the Spokane Independent Metro Business Alliance, or SIMBA, they started the Live Local campaign. And you've seen those signs around town. They're like, meh. You know, they look like a concert poster and they say live local and we see them in different storefronts and, you know, it just kind of reminds you, oh yeah, I need to shop local. And that was the goal, you know, get people um, connected, get people resources when they need them and also create that visibility that this is a local small business, you know, support this business. But now we're just formally launching the actual tools that our community needs right now to, yeah. you know, build for the future. Uh, so I have a scatter brain and I, I always forget uh, when I see a place that I actually want to go to or hear about it and then just forget. So having a resource like this is uh, really fantastic for someone like me. Exactly. And the uh, goal is to be able to give you business categories, but then also categories that um, give you a little more ability to be intentional with your purchasing. So if you're looking to spend at like women owned businesses specifically, you know, maybe that's how you want to spend your money. Um, yeah. We're hoping that you'll be able to filter your choices that way when this launches. So you will be able to do that. Maybe in February you want to spend your money at black owned businesses for black history month. Um, maybe you're looking for an LGBTQ plus ally. You know, yeah. it's going to make it really easy to understand where you are spending your money, um, especially yeah. if you want to spend your money in relationship to what your values are. Gosh, I can't get over how terrific this idea is. Um, is there a date set? Yeah, they're working on the website right now. We're hoping in a couple weeks. Um, so we have a very limited amount of time to spend all this money. It actually has to be spent before October 15th. Um, oh, wow. Yeah. Right. So the push is to get businesses involved right now. We want to get that directory populated, that marketplace populated. And then Greater Spokane gave us an additional $50,000 for marketing um, that wow. we can use for a holiday marketing push. And that's going to be like a consumer driven. So we're going right. to use, again, local talent, local people, local contractors to do this holiday push in order to get yeah. consumers buying local through this marketplace, through this directory. So where can people be updated when this actually launches? Right now, the best place to watch for updates and especially those consulting hours, if you want to get involved with that, is the Facebook page. So Live okay. Local INW on Facebook. Um, but also all of the partner organizations, Simba, IMBA, North Monroe, um, Garland, Spokane Arts, and Ahana, they all have the information as well. So if you are involved with them and sign up with their newsletters, they're pushing it out too. It sounds like plenty of places to find out. We're doing uh, our best. We're trying to put yeah. the money into the community in order to educate the community and build a foundation for moving forward into this new normal. It is becoming a new thing. And I think especially, as you mentioned earlier, underrepresented businesses um, will hopefully, uh, this will hopefully help them, um, you know, get some more visibility uh, that they need because, you know, things are tough right now as is. And boost their visibility. Yeah. And really, that's that's going to be one of the most impactful things is when we are able to get all our locally owned small businesses in one place, we're yeah. going to know exactly what kind of resources we have here. Now you don't have to rely on just word of mouth. So. No more recommendations. No more asking for recommendations. <laughs> Suck it, Yelp. Yeah. Uh. Janice. Thank you so much for coming on and being a part of creating this amazing resource for our community. Uh, it's just spectacular. Thanks so much. Everybody keep your eye out for it. We'll talk to you later. Goodbye. Bye.